inch reach advantage. All right, now to get us started with the introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Levine. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold out arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed USC Bantamweight Championship of the World. It's a fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 20 wins, four losses. She stands five feet eight inches tall. Weighing in at 135 pounds, fighting out of Miami, Florida, presenting the challenger, Amanda the Lioness Nunes. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record of 16 wins, 4 losses. She stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of Ostend, Poland, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World, Joanna Yachecha. UFC belt on the line. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. They touch him up, and we are underway. Ready? You ready? All right, fight clock is moving. We are now underway. It's going to be interesting to see how this fight stylistically plays out between a true striker against a well rounder. This is a big time fight, too. People have been for this matchup for a really long time. They wanted to see how the striker would handle someone that would try to force them into uncomfortable situations. Let's see how this thing plays out. Pinpoint jab placement there, and a nice job to take advantage of her edge and reach. Good series of strikes by her there. She is staying wicked busy tonight. Very busy, but also super accurate. She is on point. Leon Jajcek gets touched by that kick there. She's got the full mount now, DC. Her ground and pound is fantastic, and maybe that'll open the door for a submission. It will have to open the door, because if she rushes, she'll fall off to the side. In the top position, especially in the full mount, you've got to be very, very patient. You cannot rush. Everything needs to matter, because it won't take much. You're sitting on the person's chest, or sitting on their hips, fully on top of them. It won't take many of the big ground strikes. Take your time. Find your submission. She needs to do that. Punch, punch, punch. When her opponent gets desperate, latch onto an arm. What a shot by her there. I'm not sure her opponent knows where she is. She's in the arm. She can't possibly know where she is right now. After taking such a massive hit. 26 total strikes have now landed for Yolanda Yonjic. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie reach back inside and try to find space. All right, so Amanda Nunes getting off here again as usual, really as well-rounded a fighter as we have in the men's or the women's game here. Yeah, regardless of gender. They're probably her best strike of the fight. Her best strike, and you don't see this type of power normally in this weight class, but she lands and she lands very effectively. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. When you get in a bad spot on the ground and you want to reverse it, that's what you need to do. Master class in changing position on real seat. Gets up again here, but hurt. That's a big strike right there. 
Well, she was long on grappling experience coming into the UFC, and you see her chops here. Just beautiful when it comes to the transition. It's very difficult to keep up with her on the ground. All right, so a big round for her there as she makes her way back to the stool. There was the knockdown there in the middle of the round, DC. Talk us through it. She did a great job of really finding her spot, really recognizing an opportunity, really getting to exactly where she needed to be to finish the fight. But don't think that this young lady will rush. She'll take her time, hopefully get there again to end the night. Round two, Joanna Yonjacek and the Lioness, Amanda Nunes. Ooh, big shot, man. Nunez's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Well, she's able to connect on the punch there, DC, really making good use. So, she did not miss there. This will be the end of the She hurt her so bad with that big head kick. I don't know how she's standing. Can't take many of those. Better check. Oh! All right, so she lands yet another leg kick there. She's landed several in the round, and now you see the damage. It's obvious on the other side. I mean, look at the red in the leg, the bruise and the welts on the leg Nasty. from those leg kicks. Unbelievable to watch someone land that kick over and over again. But if it's working, watch this. She is such a diverse striker that that big strike landed, and it looks like she's going to finish this fight. Oh! Just like that, the fight is over. Oh, what a performance. That'll get the crowd on its feet. A near-perfect land to end the fight for her here tonight. Just the way she drew it up, she had her focus on the knockout. And that's exactly the way this fight ends. I'm not even sure the opponent saw the shot coming. They oftentimes say it's the shot you don't see coming that spells your fate. And that certainly spelled her fate here tonight. Well, that knockout win is useful for the UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World. She lit up this arena here tonight, and you can be sure the celebration is on and will continue deep into the night. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 35 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and still. Queen retains her title here tonight in a huge effort to get the job done. The belts are piling up at home. She did everything she intended to do in this fight. She knew where she held the advantages, and she stayed in her lane to retain her title. I wonder if she would trade 